Knowing how to make an outdoor shelter could mean your survival if you were ever caught in the woods during extreme conditions. Kids learned some options today at the Moosewood Nature Center. TV6's Jenna Perez gives us a look. Actually, These kids are learning how to set up an A-frame shelter. Out. It's built with a rope tied and between two trees and a tarp a, staked a to the ground. You can also tie up a hammock underneath. Learning how to set up a hammock under an A-frame. Well, I knew how to set up my hammock, but I'd never thought of getting a A-frame tarp like that to put over it. A group of NMU Outdoor Rec students are hosting the Outdoor Shelter Workshop. During their presentation, they also talked about how to make common knots, like a trucker's hitch, bowline, and clover hitch knots, which all can be used for an A-frame and other shelters. The bowline, that was the trickiest, I guess, yeah. <laughs> what was tricky about it? Just getting to know it. There may be times where you might not have enough time to build a shelter. So what do you do? Sometimes you would just have to end up going with a debris jacket. It might not be as comfortable as an A-frame shelter, but you would be warm and uh, you would survive. Essentially, it's made by stuffing your clothing with foliage, like leaves. Some other factors to keep in mind when picking a spot to make your shelter, stay away from hills due to runoff, widow makers, which are dead trees, and stay at least a yard away from water sources because of animal traffic. Jennifer Perez, TV6 News, Marquette.